In the digital age, passwords are the gatekeepers of our online lives. Like ancient mythical beasts, they guard our data and accounts from unauthorized access. But what happens when these digital guardians are compromised? Enter Hydra, a powerful password cracking tool that can be both a security professional's best friend and a malicious actor's weapon of choice. This essay delves into the world of Hydra, exploring its capabilities and the ethical considerations surrounding its use. Imagine a multi-headed serpent, each head capable of striking with incredible speed and precision. This is Hydra in the digital realm, a tool capable of launching multiple password attempts simultaneously against a target system. Born from the open source community and readily available within the Kali Linux operating system, Hydra has become an indispensable tool for penetration testers, security researchers, and, unfortunately, malicious hackers. Hydra's true power lies in its flexibility and adaptability. It can target a wide range of protocols and services from SSH and FTP to HTTP and SMTP. This means that Hydra can be used to test the security of various systems, from web servers and email accounts to remote access services and online banking portals. However, like any powerful tool, Hydra must be used responsibly and ethically. In the wrong hands, it can be used to compromise systems, steal data, and wreak havoc. Therefore, it's crucial to understand the ethical implications of password cracking and to use Hydra only for legitimate security testing purposes. Before we delve into the specifics of using Hydra, it's essential to understand the environment in which it thrives, Kali Linux. This Debian-based operating system is purpose-built for penetration testing and digital forensics. Think of Kali Linux as a digital toolbox, packed with an array of tools designed to assess and exploit vulnerabilities in computer systems. Kali Linux comes pre-installed with a plethora of security tools, including network scanners, vulnerability analysis tools, and, of course, password crackers like Hydra. Its intuitive interface and command line environment make it accessible for both beginners and seasoned security professionals. One of the key advantages of using Kali Linux for security testing is its legal and ethical framework. Unlike malicious hacking, which is illegal and unethical, penetration testing is a legitimate practice where security professionals use tools like Hydra to identify and address vulnerabilities in their systems. By providing a controlled and legal environment for security testing, Kali Linux empowers ethical hackers to stay one step ahead of malicious actors and protect our digital assets. The term hacking often evokes images of shadowy figures in dark rooms, exploiting vulnerabilities for personal gain. While this stereotype may hold true for malicious actors, there's another side to the coin ethical hacking. Ethical hackers, also known as penetration testers or white hat hackers, use their skills for good, identifying and mitigating security risks before they can be exploited by malicious actors. Ethical hacking is not about breaking the law or causing harm, it's about making the digital world a safer place. It's about using tools like Hydra responsibly and ethically, with the explicit permission of system owners, to improve security and protect sensitive data. The key principles of ethical hacking can be summarized as follows. Permission. Always obtain explicit permission from the system owner before conducting any security testing. Scope. Define the scope of your testing, including the systems and applications you are authorized to test. Non-destructive. Avoid causing any damage to the target system or data during your testing. Reporting. Document your findings and report them to the system owner, along with recommendations for remediation. Confidentiality. Treat all information obtained during the testing process as confidential. By adhering to these principles, ethical hackers play a vital role in securing our digital infrastructure and protecting our data from malicious actors. Now that we've laid the groundwork, let's dive into the heart of the matter. How does Hydra actually crack passwords? At its core, Hydra is a brute force password cracker. This means that it systematically tries different password combinations until it finds the correct one. Imagine a thief trying to unlock a safe by rapidly spinning the dial, trying every possible combination. Hydra works in a similar fashion, but in the digital realm, it can try thousands, even millions of combinations per second. The speed and efficiency of Hydra's brute force attacks depend on several factors, including the complexity of the password, Longer passwords with a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols are exponentially harder to crack. The speed of the target system. 
A faster system can process more password attempts per second, making the attack quicker. Asterisk. The network speed. A faster network connection between Hydra and the target system allows for more rapid password attempts. While brute force attacks may seem simplistic, they can be surprisingly effective, especially against weak or commonly used passwords. This is why it's crucial to use strong, unique passwords for all your online accounts. Section 5 Step-by-Step -step Hydra, a practical guide. Let's walk through a basic example of how to use Hydra to test the security of an SSH server. Remember, this is for educational purposes only, and you should only perform this on systems you own or have explicit permission to test. Okay, so step one, open a terminal window in Kali Linux. Step two, identify the target system's IP address. Step three, create a word list file containing potential passwords. You can use existing word lists or create your own. Now step four, run the following Hydra command, Hydra, L, P, S, Sh, replace with the target username, with the path to your word list file and with the IP address of the target system. Finally, step five, analyze the output. If Hydra successfully finds a valid password, it will display it in the output. Keep in mind, this is a very basic example and Hydra offers a wide range of options and parameters for customizing your attacks. For a complete list of options, refer to the Hydra documentation. Section six, target practice, choosing your battles. Hydra's versatility allows it to be used against a variety of services and protocols. Choosing the right target is crucial for effective and ethical password cracking. Here are some common targets for Hydra SSH or Secure Shell is used for secure remote access to servers and devices. Cracking SSH passwords could grant an attacker full control over the target system. FTP or File Transfer Protocol is used for transferring files between computers. Compromising FTP credentials could allow an attacker to steal sensitive data or upload malicious files. HTTP, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is the foundation of the World Wide Web. Hydra can be used to brute force login credentials for websites and web applications. SMTP, or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, is used for sending and receiving email. Cracking SMTP passwords could give an attacker access to sensitive email communications. It's important to note that targeting systems without permission is illegal and unethical. Always obtain explicit authorization before conducting any security testing. Section 7. Deciphering the results, success, or further attempts. After unleashing Hydra, carefully analyzing the output is crucial. Success means identifying weak passwords, but it also requires understanding the implications of unsuccessful attempts. Hydra provides detailed output, including successful login attempts, which display the cracked username and password, failed login attempts, which indicate the number of unsuccessful tries, and errors and warnings, which highlight any issues encountered during the attack. Analyzing failed attempts helps determine if the target system is protected by strong passwords. No successes after extensive attempts suggest robust security measures. It might also indicate that the word list used was insufficient, meaning trying different or more comprehensive word lists might be necessary. Additionally, the target system might employ rate limiting, where security mechanisms block excessive login attempts. Remember, responsible ethical hacking involves understanding the results and adjusting strategies accordingly. Section 8. The Double-Edged Sword Applications and Risks Hydra, like any powerful tool, possesses both beneficial applications and inherent risks. Understanding both sides is crucial for responsible and ethical use. Applications include security auditing, which identifies weak passwords within an organization's systems, penetration testing, which simulates real-world attacks to uncover vulnerabilities, and incident response, which helps in recovering lost or forgotten passwords for legitimate users. However, there are risks as well. Unauthorized access is a significant risk. If Hydra falls into the wrong hands, it can compromise systems and data. There's also the risk of denial of service. Excessive login attempts can overload servers and disrupt services. And of course, legal consequences. Using Hydra for illegal activities can lead to severe penalties. Balancing the potential benefits with the inherent risks requires responsible and ethical decision-making. Section 9, Responsible Hacking Power and Responsibility. The power of Hydra comes with a profound responsibility. Ethical hackers must use their skills for good, prioritizing the security and privacy of individuals and organizations. 
Key takeaways for responsible Hydra use include adhering to legal and ethical boundaries. Always obtain explicit permission before targeting any system. Continuous learning is also essential. Staying updated on the latest security threats and best practices is crucial. Respect for privacy is paramount. Handle sensitive data with the utmost care and confidentiality. And finally, community engagement. Share knowledge and collaborate with other ethical hackers. By embracing these principles, we can harness the power of Hydra for good, making the digital world a safer place for everyone.